make avocado toast, I thought we would catch up a little bit. So, I spent the weekend with my better half, so y'all didn't get any videos, no shorts or anything. Um, I was going to film tonight. I don't know if that's happening or not. I haven't wholeheartedly decided, decided yet. Um, it's going to depend on what time I can get Tiny Human to lay down. Um, I am currently reading Priory of the Orange Tree, and I'm currently almost to the 700 page mark. Um, I'm trying to get to the 700 page mark tonight, because if I do, I'm going to pause that for like five seconds, if I can. If I'm as but where I can. Um, and then I'm going to um, pick up something else, just to get my feet wet, because I will finish Priory in the next couple days. I started The Familiar by Lee Bardugo. Um, yeah, babe. Okay, that's fine. We'll get a bath in a minute. Go finish your dinner for me, please. Um, I started this familiar by Libra Hugo because it's due in six days. I want to get it read. I'm about 20% into it so far. I'm interested. I want to know where her powers are coming from and all that good stuff. I plan on listening to it while I work on my latest wooden puzzle, which I haven't showed you guys, but I will show you. Um, I built a carriage, which I want to start a picture. Um, and so I built a carriage, which I absolutely love. And so we went back to Teso, Teso? I could be saying that wrong. I'm sorry if I am. Uh, um, so I could pick up another one because I picked up the wooden carriage and a flower, a wooden flower at the same time. Fell in love. Wanted more. Um, especially if I finished the wooden carriage, I wanted more. And so I got one that is a book nook. It's a garden scene. And I am so excited. It's a greenhouse, I should say. Um, and I'm excited for it. So I can't wait to do that. That's coming. Um, I'm going to even start working on it tonight and film that. We shall see. Um, I think I'm just going to call this video a coast night with me. I have already fed the baby, as you heard me tell her just a second ago. Um, she, she is having meatballs and mac and cheese because that's what she wanted. That's not what I wanted. I'm not hungry for it at all. Oh, that smells good. Um, this is everything but the bagel, bagel seasoning, but it's jalapeno. I've not tried it yet. I've tried the pink salt version and the regular, but I've not tried the jalapeno. And so, if you're wondering, I'm just adding it to my... Okay, why are you not closing? I swear you were just closed. Like, this all worked two seconds ago. There we go. Okay. Um... If you're wondering, I like I said, I make an avocado toast, so I like to add my everything but the bagel seasoning into my straight up in straight into my avocado itself. Mix it around, add all my seasoning to the avocado, and then toast my toast, avocado, and then once I've toasted the toast, then I start making my fried egg. And so I'm making two pieces of that because that sounds good. I need to um film tonight. It'll probably be after my shower really why I don't want to film is because I just want to shower right now. Um, after my shower, I'm going to film the plan with me for tomorrow because I am not finding time in my mornings right now and I'm not sure what's happened or what's changed. I gotta figure that out, but I'm not finding time in my mornings anymore to do my plan with me like I was. So that needs to change. Um, like I said, uh, the crock pot right there has meatballs in it because tiny human meatballs. Um, I'm going to put them away though because she has a plate. She's eating. Her mac and cheese are already been put away and then I have her lunch sitting right there so that when I turn the meatballs off they start to cool, they cool down. I can put them away and make her lunch. So that she has it. Mommy? Yeah, babe? My meatballs! What about them? Okay, can you bring me your plate? Did you eat your mac and cheese? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, bring me your plate. Come on, meatballs. This is how meatballs go in our house. She devours them. Every time I make meatballs for her, she literally will sit there and eat the whole bag if I let her. So, that's how that goes. But that's just a mini catch up of what I've been doing. I've not really finished much that I want to talk about. Um, I do have a book haul coming, so watch out for that. But. Good girl. Okay, hold on. Sit down on the counter for me. Give me just a second, okay? Um, so yeah. But 
Let me go get her more meatballs and then I'll be back. So she has meatballs. She's quite content. Um, I'm going to start toast. But yeah, so Priory. If you've been around for a little bit, you'll know that I have been reading Priory for what feels like ages. Um, I started it, fell in love, binged it for a little while there. Quit about page 200. And then... Um, Went back to it, got to about page four, 400, put it down, went back, got to page 500, put it down, and now here we are, I'm almost at seven. Um, I have been in a, not a love-hate, because I really like Priory, I think it's amazing, I think it's detailed, I think it's a work of art. Um, I personally just find that I am not the target audience for it, because I honestly just don't have the attention span or the time to, to vote to priority. Um, I will be recapping my thoughts and all that good stuff, but priority and me have a love-hate relationship because I just don't ever have time to actually read it. Um, but I am in love and I can't wait to see how it all plays out. Um, because I'm at the very end. Um, I don't want to get spoilers away. If you're looking for a sapphic high fantasy, Priory is definitely it. Um, you're following multiple, multiple perspectives um, in a world where there are what they call worms. Um, and they breathe fire and they just cause havoc. There was the great sorrow where some of the worms were devastating everyone and the story goes a man came down basically the saint and he banished all the worms and that's where the worms went um and you had to start to break that down you have a vast vast um number of characters Eid is your main one sorry if I'm pronouncing his names wrong Eid is your main one um, then you have Dr. Ruse is another perspective you're in, and then you're in a perspective of Trudy. Um, they're all in separate locations when you're getting their perspectives. Um, some of your other main characters, though, are Severin, who is the queen of Inus. Um, you have Lord Loss. I mean, there's a whole cast. I have to take notes. I put notes at the end of each chapter just to remember. And obviously, since I read it sporadically. Um, but we are throwing the story as they believe that the worm, the, the nameless one, is about to rise again. And Queen Sabrin believes that her line of queens are what have kept him at bay this entire time. So, every woman has one daughter and then moves on. Her daughter becomes queen, that kind of thing. Eid, on the other hand, is part of the priory. The priory of the orange tree, the oranges from the orange tree gives them, uh, gives the mage their magic. And they believe that Cleo the Blonde, who was supposed to be the first queen, um, she's the one that put the nameless one down. She disappeared, they're not sure what happened to her, and she left them the priory. And the priory's what's been keeping the nameless one at bay. So there's two warring um, myths here. And in this, so far, the set, almost 700 pages I've read, we have learned so much and watched so much happen. Um, I definitely recommend looking at the trigger warnings for this one before you go into it because you just, you need it. Um, however, I love it. I... And right now, I'm pins and needles. I want to know what's going to happen next. Um, like I said, I am almost 700 pages through, so I may end up finishing it tonight. Depending on how, you know, these go, I may end up finishing it. Um, yeah, I just wanted to do a mini check-in. Um, guess an update video of what I've been up to, where I've been. Um, because I was doing like a daily short and pretty consistently, and then... I did not film shorts before I left on my mini staycation and just I didn't upload anything. Um, and realized I don't really do anything at all. So, yeah. But 
like I said, there will be a book haul coming for TikTok and YouTube. I'm excited for that. Um, honestly, you may get part of the um, book haul tonight and then part tomorrow. There are two more books that I'm waiting to get my hands on um, that I don't have. They're actually already here, just at my land at the office and not my front door. I had asked Walmart to deliver it to my front door, they didn't. It's fine. Um, but I supposed to leave in the office. I just don't get home talk to the office closed, so we're gonna try again tomorrow. So yeah, but like I said, I just want to do a short video of what I've been up to, what I've been doing, kind of thing, what I'm reading. Um, I think we're gonna film a try, try chapter tonight for sure to figure out what I'm reading after I finish Priory. So goal is to finish my avocado toast, eat my dinner, get the baby ready for bed because it's time for bed right now for her, and then film a little bit. So yeah, I will see you on my next one. I hope you'll enjoy this video. Like I said, it's just a quick what I've been up to kind of thing. Um, you'll probably get two videos in one because this one won't get edited very much. So it'll go up tonight, which is Tuesday. And then you'll have a video for Wednesday tomorrow if I can get filming done. So yeah, I will catch you on my next one. Please like and subscribe. It really helps. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye guys.